Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentlewoman for yielding to both of them. Thank you for building, bringing this resolution honoring Leo McCarthy to the floor. He was a very special person to us, and uh, I thank you. Uh, Congresswoman Eshoo, thank you for your leadership in bringing this as well. I'm pleased to join uh, my California colleagues and others in singing the praises of one great man, Leo McCarthy. Mr. Speaker, in the book of Ecclesiasticus, there is a chapter known as the Eulogy of Heroes. Its words could be used to describe Leo McCarthy. Now let us praise great men, it says, the heroes of our nation's history, through whom the Lord established his renown and revealed his majesty. Some were sage counselors who led the people by their counsel and by their knowledge of the law. Out of their fund of wisdom, they gave instruction. They were men of loyalty whose good deeds have not been forgotten. I know that all who knew Leo McCarthy knows how fitting that description is of him. Leo McCarthy was indeed such a person, and as the eulogy of heroes proclaims, he will be buried in peace, but his name lives forever as people recount his wisdom. Leo's great wisdom was in knowing that the future of his children, Sharon, Kana, Adam, and Neil, was linked to the destiny of all children. There were many years when, as the most senior Democrat in California politics, Lieutenant Governor Leo McCarthy was the main person standing between drastic cuts to benefits for our children, the elderly, and the disabled. Leo took seriously the responsibility to carry the banner of the Democratic Party as he advanced social and economic justice. As Speaker of the California State Assembly House and the Lieutenant Governor, Leo promoted a values-based agenda to educate our children, grow our economy, and protect our environment. He did so living up to the highest ethical standards, and he always strove to act in a bipartisan way. Leo's word was his bond, and when he promised that he would protect our seniors and stand up for California's magnificent coastline, he kept his word. In fact, Leo was so scrupulously principled and honest that there's those of us who thought he must be wearing a Boy Scout uniform under his business suit. What was under there was a heart of gold. And really, in all of the um, testimonials that followed Leo's passing, they said that he, he had, uh, I said he had the heart of a lion. Uh, they said he was a lion. He was a lion. Leo opened the public, public service to so many Californians, opening up the Democratic Party and welcoming in the grassroots. As a former staffer of his said, Leo liked to take chances on talent. From him, they got not only their start, but also their ethics, how to look after their family, their community, and their country at the same time. He also encouraged the next generation of leadership through his work at the University of San Francisco as head of the Leo T. McCarthy Center for Public Service and the Common Good. Leo helped to give me my start, encouraging me not only to support candidates, but to run in my own right. I consider both him a dear friend and a purposeful mentor. He made my first run for Congress a family affair, with my children working alongside his children to elect me to Congress. I said again, I said I had a, he had a heart of gold. He also had the heart of a lion, which sustained him through his illness. With all the strength that he could muster and a clear mind, he gave me sage counsel and wise instruction, as the eulogy said, through his last campaign, this last campaign always reminding me that it was necessary in order to win, in order to keep faith with the American people. And I know he took special joy in our victories in November. Indeed, they were his victories as well. Leo was optimistic to the end, and recently, as Saturday night, which was the Saturday night before he passed, I spoke to him. He said, my morale is high. I am home with Jackie, that's his wife, and my children and my grandchildren are with me. More than anything, Leo loved his family his wife Jackie, his children and grandchildren. My husband Paul and I, my entire family, extended our deep sympathy to Jackie, Sharon, Connor, Adam, and Neil. Again, I hope it is a comfort to them that so many people mourn their loss, sing Leo's praises, and are praying for them at this sad time. Mr. Speaker, Leo McCarthy will be buried in peace, but his name lives forever as people recount his wisdom. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.